Hello everyone and welcome back to Star Stable Online and we are here with our very handsome detective horse, Silver Secret, who loves getting to the bottom of secrets and puzzles and everything else that might challenge the mind and defy logic, and who I'm still thinking is adorable copper, but maybe not copper. I feel so bad that I keep mixing up. I need like a little list of all of my saddle pets that I can keep straight. But we are here today running the races and I have to say the yellow signs that they added in over the last week, I think they added that in last week, they're such an improvement. You can actually see where you're supposed to be going for the races. It's so much clearer than having the dark green signs, which were very pretty, mind you. Just it made it very difficult to see things, and I didn't even realize what an improvement the yellow could be. There, I didn't even know there was a sign behind that tree. I love it. But we are racing at Silver Secret because we are starting the day and stretching our legs and just making sure to feel like we're settling in because today we've got a big mission ahead of us. So we are going to be going back down to the the beach and dealing with dark core they said that they're okay if we help them out with their internal issue of a thief amongst their mist but I'm pretty suspicious about that so I want to make sure we get a couple things done before we go down and probably get kidnapped shoved into a barrel and thrown over side for the crayfish to eat so we're going to be going over to Conrad in just a second here once we finish up the race because Conrad should have some pulverized lapis lazuli awaiting us Oh my goodness, there's some really fast people who have been running this race lately. But Conrad should have some pulverized lapis lazuli waiting. There we go. Silver Secret got a little bit more experience. Get closer and closer to level 11. He is just, he's gorgeous. He is gorgeous. I love him so much. And his jumping is just beautiful. He, oh, he's just so pretty. Oh my goodness. My little lippy. All right. So enough fawning over him. Or should I say falling over him? Hmm, well, that doesn't quite have the same connotation. And we're gonna come over to Conrad and collect up the pulverized pieces of gemstone that he's got waiting for us. Hello, Saga. The powder is prepared and ready to use as dye. The tailor will be happy with this. All right, so this is actually part of a dye quest that we have had for a very long time. In fact, I think it's actually one of the earliest quests you can get in, <laughs> you can actually get in Silverglade Village and I've, I've ignored it this whole time. So we're finally actually getting around to it and I feel kind of bad. Um, but we need to go up to Silverglade Village anyway because Tan asked us to pop up there. In fact, do I still have that quest activated? Oh yes, Silverglade Village too. Ride to Silverglade Village and look for Tan's money. Look at the post office, the vet house, and by the well. When it's done, return to Tan. So we're going to pop over there and do that for Tan, and then after we get back, we will go and investigate what's going on with Dark Core down by the beach. So let's go over... I want Steve's farm, and that'll pop us out near Silverglade's village. <gasps> Maybe we should race at Steve's race really quickly. It's been so long since I've gone on Steve's race, actually. I kind of want to do that now um oh i know we just raced oh, we just raced though and silver secret probably wants to focus focus okay you know what steve's race is a really fast one forgive me i just really love racing him he's so fast and so so beautiful all right and this is another really good race to go on because it's 250 experience uh when a lot of the races even some really hard ones are only about 100 experience and thank you guys so much for your awesome suggestions for like outfits. I've seen a few of those lately where people have been mentioning that yes, they love to have their outfits matching and other people are like, doesn't matter what I'm wearing as long as it's the highest possible stats that you can possibly have. Um, I don't really race competitively. I just kind of run around and enjoy the story aspect of things more than anything because there's so much story to cover. So I would probably be one of those people who as long as I have gear that helps my horses thrive on the races that we need for their experience, wouldn't really mind what we're wearing um, and would like it to match more or less rather than like just being the highest stats. But I can definitely see where the people who are more focused on stats would be because there's a huge difference when you have your horse in some really nice gear and when you don't in how fast they move and how much ground you're able to cover. Just exploring with Silver Secret is so much easier because he moves faster than some of our other horses. Can you imagine trying to get this done with Autumn Promise, who I love but is super slow, or Amethyst Mist, who's even slower? Yay, and we just got a new personal best for this track. That is awesome. Good job, Silver Secret. I knew it would be worth it to go here. All right, and more experience for him. And now let's head into town, and we are going to be checking out the post office, the vet house, and the well. 
And then hopefully we can find what needs to be found here. So let's stop by the post office and the vet's place first. I bet she was flirting with Derek here. All right, searching for her money. Nothing of interest. That's because it was stolen, Tan. It was taken by the Dark Core group and they're gonna kidnap me and throw me overboard. I just know it's gonna happen. All right, and the vet is over here. And we're gonna go ahead and search here. All right, nothing of interest. And then turn. And then, oh, there's the well. All right, so we'll go over to the well. And let's see. Whoops, slow down, silver secret. Whoa, easy there, easy there, buddy. A little bit too over eager. If you wanna look for clues, you have to stop. Thank you, silver secret. All right, anything here? Nothing of interest. So we went all the way to Silverglade to hi try to help Tan out with finding her money. I don't know why she has, doesn't come herself, honestly. And nothing there. And then Donald. Thank you, Saga. Such a beautiful blue color. We'll definitely use that. All right. Now I need the red color for your vest. I've heard from the farmer Barry that he has some extra large fine beetroots. Squeezed beetroot should be perfect as red dye. Ride to him and ask if he has some beetroots to spare. All right, so we'll work over with Barry at some point in the future, but I'm sorry, Donald. It's been over a year, but you're probably still going to need to wait on me because we have a bigger mystery to solve. Or should I just go over? I think Barry's nearby. Is Barry, is Barry this way? I'm just gonna see really quickly. That's a gorgeous horse, by the way. I love the mystery horse look. That's the one that Star Chaser is. Uh, the same coat pattern. All right, is Barry this way? Or is that Marley? I always get Marley and, and like his brother cousin mixed up because they, oh, yep, this is him. All right, we'll go ahead and just see what he has to say really quickly. And then we'll pop back over to Morlin. Beetroots? Of course I have some. The reddest one in all of Yorvik. I can help you out, but I want something in return. My tractor is out of gas, and I had a breakdown on the road. My diesel tank is also empty. I forgot to refill my own tank. When this happens, I usually borrow some diesel from Steve. He owes me, so it's okay for, uh, for him. Take this can and ride up to the tank next to Steve's farm and fill it up. After that, you can refuel my tractor. It's standing out on the road. Return to me when you're done. Oh boy, all right, we'll get this done really quickly. Partially because I feel really bad that I've made poor Donald wait so long. Plus, it shouldn't be too hard dun, 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 to get straight over to Steve's farm from here. Hopefully everything will go okay. I wonder if I can feed... I don't remember if today is the special day you're allowed to feed the ground squirrels and chipmunks and everything that Steve has. All right, so somewhere around here, sir, you should have yourself a big, gigantic tank. I think it's around this side. I kind of feel like I've been, yeah, I feel like I've filled up some fuel at this tank before. All right, so there's that. And now let's go and find his tractor. Ooh, hello, gorgeous horse. And then once we complete that, we should be good to go. Silverglade, you know, I was calling him a detective for a while now, but it's beginning to occur to me that he's a little bit more like a sheriff. He likes getting to the bottom of the mysteries of like why people have stolen things and he wants to understand like all those logical puzzles, but he also is just a horse that believes in justice. So I really think that he's more of a sheriff than uh, anything else. So maybe we won't call him a detective. Maybe he's going to be Sheriff Silver Secret and with his loyal canine companion, probably copper. Thank you so much, Saga. Now we'll harvest the finest, juiciest beetroots for your red color. Come back tomorrow and I'll be done. Okay, so at least we managed to complete that much. So next time we come see Barney, we will be able to gather up those beetroots. All right, so let's go ahead, pop back over to Moreland Stables, report to Tan, and then get ourselves kidnapped, shoved into a crayfish container, and thrown over the edge of the barge. I'm really not looking forward to that. I just, I feel like that's what's going to happen. Also, I wonder... Sheriff Silver Secret really fits him, actually. I feel like there needs to be some sort of little western accessory I can put into his hair and along his tail to help him look even more sheriffy. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and report to Tan. What? No money in the village? Oh, I'm so angry with myself. Where else did I go? Oh, and now she's going to need some time to think about it, too. Don't worry, Tan. Maybe she just lost her money. Because money sounds, money sounds too realistic for a thief to take. You know what I mean? And the thief already took a pie, a tiny hammer, and a bunch of old trophies. 
So it doesn't seem to me like this is a thief who is really thinking things through very well. And it seems much more likely that this is a thief who was more like opportunistic and wouldn't actually think, oh, I should take a wallet. And you know what? I bet if Tan just budgeted like what she's been spending on, on lattes and new outfits and all sorts of accessories and like club fees, she'd probably be surprised and find that all of her money, ah, I just crashed into something because I was being sassy. Uh, but she, that's like karma for you. But she'd probably find that all of her money was spent by herself. That's my new theory is that Tan just spent the money on like another new watch or, or weird things like that. Oh, she did lose her watch though, didn't she? Why did I think watch and money? Huh, I keep thinking she lost her wallet. All right, shifty character. Shh, listen to me. I just got word that the thief has already struck. He's at it right now at the lighthouse. If we hurry there, we might be able to catch him red-handed. Quick, to the lighthouse! The crook jumps up behind you on your horse and points towards the lighthouse above the beach. Quick, ride! Ride like the wind! Okay, a unique collaboration indeed. Oh my gosh, he's like gigantic! He's, he's, what is this? Get off, get off my back! He's just like having a big old gorilla stuck back there. Okay, where the heck am I going? <laughs> All right, to the lighthouse. Is he gonna throw me out of the top of the lighthouse? Oh my goodness. It would have been easier to shove me in a barrel, you know? All right, so up we go. Oh my gosh, with a gorilla on my back. Um. Oh my goodness. This is cool. Okay, and then up this direction. All right. I have to make sure I don't miss any of these spots because I don't want to have to have this guy on my horse any longer than I have to. But I think Silver Secret would totally be caught up in the drama of the moment. Thinking, look at this leering gargoyle. It's not like having a gorilla. It's like having a gargoyle on my back. All right, got him. I don't like how this is going. Well, looks like we made it. Stay quiet now. He's probably still inside the lighthouse. The thief must be inside. Hey, sneak in and see if you can open the door without making any noise. If you manage that, I'll jump in and grab him. Careful now, creep up to the door and focus on opening it completely silently. We don't want to scare him off now that we're this close. Oh boy. All right, Silver Secret. If this goes down, I need you to take over for me. And let's go ahead and come on up. Next, what's gonna happen? I knew it, I knew it. Betrayal, betrayal. Oh my gosh, this is kind of, ah! That's kind of spooky. Smack. You feel yourself faint. Hmm. Maybe it would be more accurate to say, feel a ton of pain. Oh, I'm at Miss Holdsworth's house. Um, hello? Are you awake? What just happened, Miss Holdsworth? Am I dead? Are you dead? Did we both die? You of old age and me, I mean, it looks so peaceful with all of the like, like beautiful flowers flowing down. It really did look like we passed away. That was kind of amazing. Hello, are you awake? Saga? Hello there, how's your head? Let's have a look. Nope, seems like you've passed the worst of it. Seems like you'll have a bit of a bump there for a while, but it'll go down. What were you doing here, you ask? Well, let's see. I had I heard an almighty crash up at the lighthouse a short while ago, so I went up there to see what on earth was going on. I found the door off its hinges and you were on the ground, completely out for the count and impossible to get through to. I carry you down here and let you uh, get some rest and peace and quiet. A few hours rest and the, vapor and the vapors from one of my famous herbal broths seems to have done the trick. One thing that was rather strange, Saga, when I found you up there at the lighthouse, you had one of Josh's trophies in your hands. One of the ones that was stolen a little while back. Uh-oh, did he just frame me? That, that, that gorilla gargoyle jerk. Oh my goodness, Miss Holdsworth, it wasn't me, I swear. You've no idea how Josh's trophy made it into your hand. Seriously, look at my reputation. You know that I am a trustworthy person. I am I am like legendary around here for all of the poop scooping and racing that I do. I believe you, Saga. You'd never do a thing like that. I think there's someone trying to pin the blame for the thieves on you. It's probably the actual thief trying to get away with it. You were lucky it was me who found you because it would have been rather difficult to explain to, to the police why you had stolen goods on you if they found you like that. But one question, why were you up at the lighthouse in the first place? What's that? You rode there with some crooked character from the beach to try and stop the thief? 
Uh huh. Seems quite clear what's going on here then. That shady character who followed you up to the lighthouse must have been the thief himself. When you started asking difficult questions, he must have tried to get rid of you and get away uh, with all of the same and get away with it all at the same time. A crafty plan. If I hadn't heard all that commotion and noise from the lighthouse, it would have worked. Probably best that you ride down to Dark Tor's camp quick as you can and confront that thief before he gets away. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm so glad it was Miss Holdsworth and she believes us and maybe she'll make us some like delicious pie. I love the idea of her little herbal remedies, by the way. That sounds so cute and it makes me think so much about the herbal remedies you can make in Sims 4. So now we're going to go ahead and ride down. Dun, 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 dun. Over to here. Okay. The barges are still here. Does that mean the thief is still here? That jerk who knocked me on the head? All right. There he is. I see him hiding amongst all of this, this chaos. Oh, look at her. She's doing the same thing we were just doing. Hmm, thief? Why are you saying I'm busted? No point playing dumb, you say? I don't know what you're talking about and even who you are. Hold on a minute. You seem to think that you're talking to my predecessor, the guy who was standing here just a couple of hours ago. Well, you're not talking to him, that is. That much I can tell you. He was hastily replaced about half an hour ago. Disappeared on one of our ships. The last I saw of him, he was running off onto the ship quicker than a rat up a drain pipe. He didn't look like he had time to pack either, as he looked empty-handed as he left. Hmm. Now you can get lost. I haven't time to talk to you. Beat it? What? Stolen goods? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sounds interesting, though. Probably best I take a look at my predecessor's belongings. He disappeared so fast that all his things are left there on the boat. Do excuse me for one second. I'll go and investigate at once. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you know. You can rely on me. <laughs> What's that? If I don't go and take if you don't get to take a look for yourself, you'll call the police? <sighs> okay, okay. Go through his stuff then. You have to promise not to call the police though. Promise? This isn't something to joke about. Now that you've promised, uh, my predecessor kept his things in a wooden box on the boat over there by the radio equipment. All right. It still seems I have an opportunity to be knocked on the head, stuffed into a barrel, and tossed over ship for the crayfish. Let's see if we can feed those hungry little crustaceans, or if something else is going to happen. Searching through the box. Can this... Oh my gosh, look, it's the stuff! Am I really going to be allowed to just, like, replace this? Did that just have a pie shatter and break inside? Is that... It's an empty pie tray! Somebody's eaten up every last crumb of the pie and licked the baking tray until it's perfectly clean. All right, and we got a little tiny hammer. And then finally, we have managed to snag the trophy collection. So he was the thief all along and just trying to get rid of me. But why would his boss have known about it and have even been in on it? That's kind of weird. I mean, it was, it was just a pie. Did you find his things? They were stolen goods, you say? <laughs> If they really are stolen goods, then the only fingerprints on them now are yours. Here at Dark Core, we all wear gloves. Well, so do I, buddy. So, touche. Turn that right around on you, and it's a, it's a checkmate or a stalemate, depending on how you want to look at it. If I remember rightly, you had all these things with you when you arrived. Maybe I'll just call the police myself and tell them I've caught the thief. Maybe you can just give me all the loot and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? What? You think I should call the police? Um, you're sure they'll take your word over mine? Uh, okay, you win this time. You beat me this time, but I'm not as dumb as the last guy. When we'll meet again, you can be sure of that. The smell of all that baking from that old granny's house is so good. If my predecessor hadn't taken the pie, I'd have done it myself. Hey, listen, give the pie case back to the old dear. and Maybe she'll set out another pie to cool sometime soon. Then I'll be ready and waiting. And she'll be ready with her broom, sir. So you just be prepared to get smacked in the face with Miss Holdsworth's broom. I don't know if she flew on it or not, but she seems adorable. I would totally think she was like an adorable little witch who belonged to the whole magic society on the island. But I digress. Now get out of here and take this junk with you. All right. So we are going to go head back to Miss Holdsworth and turn this in. And let her know that I got it from the Dark Core guys. Maybe she should put out like a pie that makes them really sick to their stomach or something ridiculous like that. So let's ride over here and up. And she'll be so happy to have her pie tin back. Maybe she'll give me a pie. That would be so cute if we had a pie to be able to eat or to sell because apparently they're super popular. All right, Miss Holdsworth. Hello, Saga. 
Oh, that looks like my pie tin. Some crook down there wanted you to give it back to me so he can steal the next pie I bake. You know what, Saga? I'll be making my super extra double ultra volcano spicy chili pie. I've baked it only once before, and it was a final of that reality TV show, Jorvik's Biggest Dummy, where the first per person to eat a whole piece of the pie won the contest and got a million Jorvik shillings. That was the first year that there were no winners at all. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Uh, Tiny Hammer finds its home. The awesome watch is back. Trophies are no joke. Tiny Hammer finds its home. This Tiny Hammer must belong to Conrad. Leave it back with him, Saga. I've heard he was a little depressed last time you spoke to him, so he could probably use the good news. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, awesome watch. This must be Tan's watch. Probably best you give it back to her, but you can tell her it's from me, so there'll be no more pie for her in the future. Oh my gosh, and Miss Holdsworth's going to act like she stole the watch. That's adorable. Here are all of Josh's trophies. Hurry down and give them back to him. He'll be so happy to get them back, the little angel. Oh, apparently Josh is like deeply and well beloved by Moreland. So that makes me happy. All right. Or I should say Moreland stables. I don't know if Moreland himself actually likes Josh. So let's try riding over. I think we'll go visit Conrad first because he's kind of like through the forest. I just crashed into a tree. There were a lot of areas I could have ridden Silver Secret through that didn't involve trees. But no, I had to, I had to see the tree and crash into it. But now that we have gotten that out of the way, Conrad. I spy with my little eye something beginning with my tiny hammer. I thought it was lost forever. Thank you, Saga. Your heroic shan't go forgotten. I thought it was my own fault that the hammer was gone and that my memory was fading and that my old age was finally getting the better of me. But now I know everything's in order and all back to normal. All thanks to you, Saga. I've never lost a tool in my life and it'll not happen again anytime soon. I swear it, just as my name is Conrad Marsden. Marsden, even. Cough, cough. Ignore Saga getting things mixed up. Saga, hurry now and give Jenna the incredible news. She must cry no more. Her flower pots are going to be finished by sundown. All right, so we can go ahead and do that. I'm very excited that Conrad is quite happy. And then let's go give the trophies to Josh. And I bet Josh is going to be very happy too. And Silver Secret's flying again. He's been doing that a lot over the last week. It's been kind of impressive, to be completely honest. And let's see, where is Josh? There he is. All right, and woo, didn't quite make that. And Silver Secret still jumped over it. Thank you, Silver Secret. All right, so let's come over, return all the trophies. Maybe you should put them in a safer place, Josh. Hey, Saga, life's just so boring without my trophies. I never thought they'd meant that much to me, but I guess you don't know what you've got until it's gone. What's that you say? You found my trophies? You're kidding. Don't joke around like this, Saga. No way, let me see. My trophies. Ah, oh, yeah, my babies. I never thought I'd see them again. Thanks so much, Saga. You're amazing. And then greetings from Happy Champion. Saga, this day got off to a terrible start, but ended brilliantly. You need to tell Jenna that all my trophies are back. She'll be delighted too. Wonderful. So it seems we'll report to Jenna each time we turn all of these things in. So you can tell who's in charge of like a management around the stables. So let's come over and talk to Tan and give her her watch back. Um, Hi, Saga. What's up? What? No way. My watch? For real? Hey, Loretta, check it out. My amazing new watch is back. Isn't it gorgeous? Awesome. You're like totally jealous now. Huh? Huh? Hey, Loretta, I was just joking. You can borrow it anytime you like. Seriously, we're besties. BFFs forever and ever. For real, you know. And then let's see. Tell Jenna the watch is back. Thanks, Saga. That is amazing. Can't believe you found the watch so fast. Tell Jenna that Loretta and I aren't thieves if she hadn't already figured that out by herself. Now I need to go. Ciao. All right. So Tan is done. Ah, oh, and I think that uh, Sheriff Silver Secret feels at peace with the world, having helped to contribute to doing so many things and solving this particular mystery. My flower pots are almost finished. Good of Conrad to let me know. Now I suppose I just need some flowers to put them in, or to put in them. Josh got his trophies back. Then I guess he'll be pretty happy right now. How nice. It felt horrible to see such a good guy as Josh be so sad. Good work, Saga. And then... Tan got her watch back, you say? I guess she was happy about that. Nice, now I don't have to listen to any more of her and Loretta's whining, for a while at least. All right, so that completed so many things. Saga, thank you so much for helping us put a stop to all this thievery here in Moreland. You didn't just find the thief, but you also got back all the stuff that was stolen. Josh Tan, Miss Holdsworth, and Conrad Marsden have all asked me to find an appropriate award for your heroism. 
I don't know quite yet what it should be. Something to suit you. Actually, yeah, wait, I know. Jenna looks in the box behind her. Is it a plant? That suits me. It's a hat. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, Jenna. Jenna grabs something from the box behind her. Here you go, Saga. What do you think? Maybe it's not much considering all you've done, but I hope you like it. Take care, Saga. I see you. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's actually a really cute hat. It's not quite as good as the hat we're currently wearing, but I like how it makes it makes us match Silver Secret. That's so cool. That is so awesome. All right. So that long chain of events is finally done, other than helping Tan get to the bottom of where the heck her wallet went. And I think Silver Secret really feels like he has achieved something great in his life. So he's probably pretty happy. We've got Marley's Farm, uh, the Silverglade Sand Pit, and it looks like we have a a whole bunch of things to do over in Yarlaheem to continue gently but steadily pushing forward the main quests and the main plots so that one day I will be able to go to the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaurs which if you guys recall I also have a bad habit of calling the Valley of the Hidden Dragons totally fine also I definitely need to take care of Silver Secret he is like dying of thirst so I'm going to tend to him I'm going to make sure that we have our stable girl taking care of everybody and then I will see you guys next time when we will have to see what kind of really awesome special and let's give him a whole orange because he has worked so hard but we'll have to see what kind of special awesome updates the next week brings for us so i'll see you guys then bye bye